makes you like Jesus Christ, who from the cross, while he was being crucified, showed empathy toward those who were doing it. You remember what he prayed from the cross? Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. And that may be the hardest truth Jesus ever taught about forgiveness. And that is pray for the person who wronged you. When you get to the place where you can pray for the person who wronged you, where you really can want the best for a person who has hurt you deeply, where you can pray a blessing over someone who has hurt you, you take forgiveness to its deepest level. And you give God permission as the master artist to chip away the anger and the bitterness from your life. So you really can be the masterpiece he sees in you. Church ought to be a place, a safe community, where angry people can become the masterpieces God sees in them. And City Church is that safe community. If you're an angry person, I want you to know you're welcome here. You're not going to shock us. You're not going to scare us. We won't judge you. We will love you as you are, and we can help you. I promise. I showed up here over 20 years ago as an angry pastor who didn't know it. And the people in this community of faith, they love me as I was. And they helped me process my junk, my, my anger. They helped me become the masterpiece God could see in me. And I know we can help you. Now, look, anger, anger will always be a part of my story. So I don't, I don't want to give you any misunderstandings about it, but it's a part of my story that now has new, less angry chapters. And that's what I'm excited about. And I don't want you to think I don't struggle with anger ever anymore. That's, that's not correct. Because remember, anger is a God-given feeling. But now when I feel angry, I can, I can sense it. I identify it more quickly, and now I know what to do about it. Now I know how to process what made me angry. I forgive, or I let something go. I don't obsess over women with red grapes and white grapes in a bag at the HDB. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I promise you, I promise you, if you struggle with anger, we can help you. You can live like the masterpiece you are. And so whenever I talk about anger, I always uh, end with a story that gives hope, and I tell this story often uh, because I, I, I hope it inspires you to believe you can overcome anger. So anyway, when I finally admitted that I was an angry person, I went through our church's program to help you identify toxic emotions and, and get heat, the healing that we all need. And, and I, I felt like it was helping. As the months, you know, turn, turned into a year or so, I thought, I, you know, I think I'm changing. I think I'm becoming this masterpiece. But, you know, I wasn't sure because I didn't, I didn't recognize that I had anger before. So, you know, you get to where you're not even sure you can trust your own judgment about yourself. And during that same time, my daughter Anna was about 10 or 11, and she was in an acting class. And during this part of the class, they were supposed to act out emotions. 